sorry, something happened to my phone. Anyways, I don't remember if I posted the video of me unboxing this, but it was pretty beat up and mashed. Which is not IG's fault, it's FedEx or whoever the hell shipped it, I forget. Um, UPS, yeah, so that's who shipped it. Um, tomorrow I will be installing this on an 07 STI. This is the Street Series oil pan. So, what's really cool, everybody knows this has a gasket, unlike other ones where you have to use RTV. Um, where is it? Oh, here's your hardware set gaskets spacer right there it's about a half an inch roughly maybe three eighths and then oil plug all the hardware to screw it down and it will be an allen key setup now for like everything See, even your oil plugs now in Allen key, which I don't necessarily like. But it does come with crush washers and looks like everything that you're going to need. There's the little plug for... Ta-da! Or you can put oil sensor, oil pressure, or oil temperature sensor you could probably even do like an oil level so you know if you're getting low but I mean that thing is right at the bottom so if you did do an oil level you'd be dead empty by the time that thing trips <laughs> the only thing that sucks is this IAG logo like right so I mean, it's gonna go in the car about like that because the dipstick comes up and over here, right? So the logo's in the back. Like, why not, like, fucking etch it right here or here? I don't know. Maybe I'm dumb. But that just seems, you know, like, put it on the front so you can see it. And it's not like there's an oil plug or anything in the sides here to mess with it. Um, but, I mean, yeah. What I want to know is what the hell that is. Like, they screwed up when it was on the machine and tried to drill the oil plug in the wrong spot like six different times. That's not cool. <clears throat> and then the biggest not cool thing, right? Like, you spend this kind of money and we have the windage tray right which is supposed to go I also got the pickup tube the pickup tube I had installed when I did the motor from tier one shout out to Dom and Igor and Chase I always appreciate Chase he's always done me right so anyways there's the windage tray and stuff. And you know, like this setup, seven, eight hundred dollars. And there isn't a single sticker, nothing. I mean, I get a three hundred dollar AOS, three, four hundred dollar AOS, and I get stickers like crazy. And then you buy an eight hundred dollar setup. And you don't get nothing with it except for some paper. But anyways, I'm excited to get it on the car. And the street one, it's just, you know, sheet metal with a couple slits in it. There's literally nothing fancy about it doesn't have these Vitron flaps but I was doing some research and ProDrive did Vitron flaps in their WRC cars which was supposed to be like super good <clears throat> <sighs> 
but they don't really don't tell you where they put the Vitron flaps, whether they put them in the oil pan like IEG does, or if they did a windage tray. So maybe I need to do a little more research about that. But I mean, this makes sense, right? It's gonna sit like this. It's gonna allow the oil to go down through, you know, it's gonna hit this and it's gonna trickle down and go down to the bottom of the pan, but it won't be able to slosh back up and onto the crank. Kind of like a poor man's version of knife edging your crank. But in these motors, your crank doesn't actually splash through a bath of oil or anything like in a Honda or an Evo. So knife edging it wouldn't do shit. But I guess this is like the same theory, right? Trying to keep all the engine oil off the crank so it keeps higher engine RPMs and stuff and keeps you from damaging things. So, and then if you're gonna be doing the oil pan, and essential things you're gonna need, Subaru only oil filter. No, I'm just joking, but it's part number 15208 alpha alpha one two alpha. That is the oil filter for an 06 STI. You will also need exhaust gaskets for your header because you're more than likely gonna have to drop it. You know. Obviously you don't need blow off stuff, this is just gaskets because I buy whole kits at a time, so this makes it easier and then you can buy you know some Grim Speed ones or whatever and have them sitting around. So yeah, make sure you get the exhaust. So you got the two headers and then you got the mid pipe, and then you got the up the exhaust header to up pipe. Probably need at least header to up pipe and then the two exhaust ones. That way you can just drop it down as one piece. Get the oil pan out. Slap your oil pan up and new filter on. So let's talk about this. So when you're doing an oil change, a lot of people will put oil in the oil filter and then screw it on. Think about that real quick. So if the oil passes into the filter, goes through your filter membrane, and then comes out, it's now filtered, right? So if you fill this with oil, and you fill it on the wrong side of the membrane, when you screw this on, you now have however much oil that you poured in here that is unfiltered going through your engine. So when you go to school for Subaru, Toyota, well, I guess I didn't go for Subaru. I went for Toyota, Lexus, and Scion. They are really adamant about never, ever putting oil in an oil filter before you put it on. You put a skim of oil on your o-ring so that way it doesn't bind as you're torquing it on but you do not fill these with oil because you are now putting unfiltered oil through your engine and that can cause a problem. So knowledge now you know just put it on Fill your car up with oil, run it for five minutes, shut it off. Check your oil, add what you need, and then run it to operating temperature, shut it off again, wait five minutes, check the oil level, boom, you're done. Add if you need to. But the main thing is stop putting oil in your oil filter and let the car get up to operating temperature before you check it. 
Some vehicles do recommend checking oil while it is cold and not to operating temperature, so I guess just follow your manuals. It's the best way to do it instead of trying to listen to some Yahoo on YouTube like me that hasn't read your vehicle specific manual. Oh, I got mayonnaise on my phone. Alright, I'm over. Okay, so as you guys know, I'm putting that stuff on today, right? Um, disconnect pitch stop mount just to make it fast and easy right and then obviously headers off to the up pipe oil filters off um, drain the oil block with floor jack on the transmission so you can get it high enough to reach those back four bolts right that runs along this bar that they're like back in there they're hard to see you know they're there if you're doing this you know they're there they fucking suck and then um so the whole reason i'm doing this little video real quick don't forget engine mounts the bolt that's right there on each side that way when you jack the tranny up so you can get access to the bolts in the back side of the pan you can actually, you know, move it up. So, anyways, with that said, I've seen people try and beat these off like crazy with, you know, got my rubber mallet, got a dead blow. <clears throat> so anyways, got the rubber mallet, my dead blow. <clears throat> Obviously the handy dandy Red Bull. Can't do it without the smokerizer. Um, scraper, I don't know where the heck my spatula went, oh there it is, okay, so spatula, right? Whole reason I'm doing this stupid little video is to show you guys this trick, alright? So, you've got your motor mount plate right here, and your oil pan. <clears throat> so, let me grab this real quick. Oil plate, or oil pan, and then the plate for your motor mount, right? Get your handy dandy flathead screwdriver, and then you can put it in between here and here. Get enough prying on that while you're doing that. And your prying also kind of push this in. That's gonna break the seal. And then you're done. I mean, this oil pan, you're obviously swapping it out for an IG or a Killer B or whatever the hell you're putting on there. Those are, I don't think anybody's gonna do a Moroso, but because nothing is compatible with those. But, anyways, boom, oil pan's loose, drop it out of there, fucking fight the pickup tube and the pan and everything. And then scrape your gasket cleaner shit off and put your new stuff on in reverse order, right? But that's your little fucking tech tip of the day. Shit's pissing me off. I've been going at it for on and off for about two hours total with draining oil and everything. But it's gonna be so nice. Nice and nice. Oh. And I got my son a new dirt bike. For... Oh, that feels better. For Christmas, Santa brought him a dirt bike. Well, KTM 50SX. It's an 08. Put the Pro Taper bars on there. So sweet. He loves it. Smaller right here. Otherwise, it's a normal 7 8 bar like the big bikes. So, which is kind of dumb if you think about it. Like, why not just put smaller bars on the smaller bikes for the smaller people who ride them? You know? Oh yeah, and my son did that. Buy him a $10 sticker and he puts it on his fucking seat so it can get rubbed off super fast. <sighs> and we're, oh, and the other Subaru sticker I gave him, those were like five for four bucks, so no big deal. But 
The Gaikana sticker? What the heck, man? Why you gotta put it right there? But yeah, you can tell he loves scary stuff at six years old. I don't know if that's because he almost died or what, but he's really into creepy shit now. <sighs> Alright, so back at her. Um, if there's any more tech tips that I decide to bespow upon you guys, I'll let you know. Really loving my titanium coolant. I think that's my favorite part, to be honest. And then when taxes get here, we're upgrading turbo. Yeah, buddy. And then I'm going to go see Dom, and he's going to tune my car. Yay! I guess i got to buy an access port to get him to do it, too, though. Which I hate this right here. And that's the reason why I've held off on getting an access port. Plus, nobody in my area will deal with Cobb. Because they hate them too. But yeah, they do have a good product. But their customer service sucks. So, have a good day. Ta-da! So now we're adding oil, right? So I'm going to show you the biggest suck about installing an oil pan. So... You guys all know that I've got the Feel 441s on here, and I mean, I've lowered my car about an inch, maybe, it's more like an inch and a half, maybe inch and three quarters, two tops. And so, um, you know, I'm kind of close to the ground-ish. So you can kind of see what I'm talking about. That is now. I mean, possibly the oh, that's just scary to me. It seems like it's so close now, but the. Downpipe is definitely closer to the ground, so I haven't hit the downpipe yet. <laughs> yet. So, still dent free and everything. <clears throat> My wife may have dinged it, I'm not sure, but anyways. <clears throat> so, after doing the IAG oil pan, the biggest... So with other people and oil pans that are out there, they say this is a shit job, it sucks. The worst thing you can do to yourself, I'll have to disagree. I think the fuel rails are pretty suck because this wasn't, oil pan wasn't too bad. Um, definitely have been other things that suck way worse, so. Um, yeah, if you're going to do it, just follow directions, you know, IJ makes some pretty cool directions, not too hard to follow, um, really curious to see how this does, it sucks that I don't have an oil temperature probe to put in the pan, so I'm going to have to get one of those, and then I really need it tripod gauge cluster right there and take out my clock and stuff and put one of those in there and do boost pressure and oil temperature and I don't know what other would be a good one I don't know but those are the two I'd really like to monitor at all times probably put something else in there you know like intake temp That'd probably be a good one to monitor. So, anyways, back to the oil. Um, IAG says add five quarts of oil, possibly another 0.25 quarts, 
to top it off. So luckily, I've got five quarts right there, and then I've got another quart over there, and I think I have another quart up there running around rogue. So I did find the slight oil leak coming from the turbo, so I definitely need to get a new turbo ASAP. Um, it appears that it might be coming from this banjo bolt. I don't know. It's either coming from the banjo bolt or it's coming from the drain tube. So, one or the other. I still can't get over this. This is so pretty. I'm so proud of that. I did it for like mm, 200 bucks instead of 300. But I also did buy like all the TIG stuff I needed to do titanium. Otherwise, it would have cost me like 125, 130 bucks to do. I'm telling you guys. Thinking about building my own titanium intercooler piping and stuff too. Possibly taking this and flipping it around and then building it from the turbo back this way and then up and into the intake manifold. So doing it all out of titanium but who knows maybe I'll just go ETS rotated kit and do all do it all over again and sell this there's nothing wrong with it just need <clears throat> different needs now I guess so all right that's it just wanted to show you the suck about the $800 IEG okay so now that uh, anyways, now that the IEG oil pan is installed, <clears throat> I've put a total of, I don't know, like 20 miles on the car altogether with the new pan on. Gave her a bath, that's why she's a little streaky. But, um, yeah, I like it. It's nice. Um, the motor actually feels smoother, which... I know the oil pan itself shouldn't do anything like that. Maybe the windage tray is helping, but um, everything feels smoother. Like in the power band, getting up to speed and everything else like that. Um, and then just the sound and feel of it as you're taking off. Like, I don't know, it's, it's a weird feeling, but it feels nice like like it should feel when before it just I don't it's really hard to explain I guess the best way to say is it just it feels smooth now so and then the car starts easier it seems like it doesn't make sense either um yeah, so only time will tell if, you know, how this works. So a big reason why I got the oil pan for the car was because I live in Oregon. And where I live, there's a lot of logging roads, a lot of twisty corners, not a lot of straight lines. So that's what I love to do with my car. I'd rather go 80 around a 20 mile an hour corner than do 180 miles an hour in a straight line. So... That's why I got the oil pan to help the slushing. And possibly oil temps, which I don't even know if they're high or low or whatever, but you know, reliability mod, I guess. So, so far I like it. Feels nice. Car smooth. <clears throat> Smoother, I guess we could say. So, yeah. I'm gonna give this.
So Black Friday purchase for my birthday and everything. Um, Chase at Tier 1 helped me out. Gave me a good deal. So I'm going to have to say it was worth it on the Black Friday purchase. Now if I had to pay full price, it might hurt a little bit worse. But if you, th if you think about it, it's worth it, right? Anything that gives you more reliability is worth it. Now when you start getting in close to that thousand dollar mark, like that's where I start to like I make really good money and it hurt. Like the only two people around where I live that make more money than me are doctors and lawyers. So I still hesitate on like an eight hundred dollar price tag, eight hundred and fifty bucks plus shipping, like that's that's expensive for anything. So, I could almost buy a titanium exhaust for that price, right? <clears throat> so, alright, anyways, um, and you can, I've verified it, you can run the Killer Bee pickup tube with the IEG oil pan. The only thing is, is if you have a Killer Bee pickup tube on your car already and you plan on reusing it, you need to order the O-ring for the pickup tube because the spacer plate that goes between the pickup tube and the block has the IG O-ring on both sides and they're the same. Killer B has a little bit smaller O-ring, so the IEG one's too big for it. So get another Killer B one. I mean, I could have probably mashed it in there or something like that, but just be safe. Order an extra Killer B O-ring, and then, I mean, I, what, a couple dollars and a couple dollars for shipping, right? It's worth it. Just do it. That way you're prepared. Everything is taken care of. So... Yay.